Hello, my name is Leon Menezes. I'm a consultant radiologist at University College Hospital. More and more people are surviving their acute heart attacks, but that means more people develop heart failure due to the damage their heart has undergone. We are interested in these processes and whether we can see them using our imaging tools. Here at University College, we have access to CT, MRI, and PET, and these machines are combined in PET CT scanners and in the only PET MRI machine in the country. The problem is the images are acquired differently. An MRI scan can be taken in a breath hold. A PET scan takes minutes to acquire. This leads to misregistration between the images. And Chris can take us through that. Hi, I'm Chris Stielemans. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer here at the Institute of Nuclear Medicine, part of the Division of Medicine. I'm in the physics research group here. We have about 10 people working on various aspects of nuclear medicine imaging. Uh, we work very closely with our clinical physicists and clinicians, but uh, also with people from CMIC. As Leon already mentioned, there are issues with, uh, with motion and misregistration between the images of the different modalities. So we, we have looked at that already in context, for instance, of uh, images acquired at different time points or, or with respiration. But the cardiac motion is much more complicated than that because you also have the contraction and the respiration all going on together. So we have techniques of data-driven gating and, and image registration. We want to apply this on this multimodality data to get the best, uh, best possible images for our clinicians. At UCL, we have uh, access to top-of-the-range scanners and also a very large group of people, researchers, uh, physicists, engineers, and clinicians to tackle these problems together. So we are very well placed to uh, make considerable advances in this field.